Okay, in this video I'm going to go over the weather simulation, particle system, and assigned media features uh, fuser. And these features are designed for presentation purposes, uh, with the exception of the weather simulation that has application for checking awning clearances or ceiling overhangs. So I'll show the weather simulation first. Right now we have the nice sunny San Diego, uh, but uh, sometimes it does rain here. And we can simulate that. We go to our scene controls. Second tab over is our weather control. And we have a couple sliders. The first is the weather control slider. And right now it's set to sunny. If I move it to the right, you can see that it will gradually get a little bit dimmer. Some clouds are coming in. It starts to sprinkle. And then full on lightning storm. And you can see the lightning out there in the distance. And you see right now I am underneath this ceiling. So I'm not getting wet, but as soon as I come out here, oh, now my guy's getting soaked. And you gotta run inside. Get out of the rain. Um, below that slider, we have the rain angle. This controls the wind. So as I move that to the right, you can see that the rain is now coming in underneath this uh, sloped ceiling here. And we can also see that uh, kind of my chairs are getting wet. So maybe we need to move those chairs so they're not getting wet. And this right here, this compass looking thing, is going to show the, uh, the wind direction. So this is a western wind. Go to eastern wind. Now everything's getting soaked. So let's get inside out of the rain. And I'll show you our particle systems. Now on rainy days, I like to have a fire in my fireplace. So we have a fireplace right here. And we go to our particle system, which is one, two, three, four, five tabs over. And we have two different particles. We have smoke and fire. I'm going to select the fire, and I'm going to do so by clicking right on the image. And that's going to give me this yellow bounding box. Now this is going to place the fire wherever I, my cursor goes. And I'm going to place it right on these logs. And as you can see, it adds a light source, a flickering light source. If I select the fire, it turns to a greenish color. And I can use this slider to change the size. And notice that the light source also changes depending upon the size of the fire. This is for a fireplace, so right about the middle I think is fine. Okay, and maybe I want to watch some TV too. So we're going to use our assign media function to add a video to this TV right above our fireplace. All we do is select the TV, hit edit, and that brings up our Revit window. And under our Calic Fuser Tech tab, we have assign media. That brings up a pop-up window where we have this media button. Nothing's set, so it says not set. We're going to navigate to a video. And it has three different faces here. Now this is because Revit doesn't always tell us which face is front, back, up, down. So we give you three options and it'll choose the, the largest face, uh, which is usually the right one. And I know out of trial and error that it's face three. And we have landscape and portrait settings as well. But this is a TV, so it's going to be landscape. And we'll save. Go back to Fuser. And there we have our video playing on our TV. And that's how we bring uh, a little bit of extra life into our model for presentation purposes.